There you go. So this is Kekleon's Dream Shop. It is by Caravan, who last jam he made How to Survive a Pokemon Journey, which was essentially a mix on Oregon Trail and the Pokemon formula. This seems to be kind of like a shop simulator inspired by Mystery Dungeon, I guess, for shops in Mystery Dungeon, because you'll be Kekleon. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I will give it a try, and I, I am looking forward to it. I know lots of Kecleons being shop owners. I like that in the corner it said version jam. Now what is your name? We we can stick to Kecleon, that seems in character. I like that it starts out free field with Kecleon. I really like the text boxes that are on by default. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, a world of beautiful nature and dungeons scattered everywhere. Dungeons are essential to the survival of many Pokemon. Some of them live there and some of them are looking for fortune. In a mysterious and dangerous dungeon, various preparations and supplies are needed, and becoming a merchant who can open shops to provide all kinds of necessities that has been Kecleon's dream since childhood. This is Kecleon's dream shop. Mmm, seems too small for a shop, isn't it? How about this one? It is quite big. Oh, it's also in the middle of town. Oh god, we're doing shop shopping. I like it. So you guys will choose this one? Sure, I'll take you guys there. But what do you think, guys? Do you like it? It's perfect. Glad to hear it. Oh, here, take this. It's a building key in your dungeon permit. I already ranked it up to silver. And I'm sorry because this is your first permit. It takes another day, so I guess we'll get it later. Can I ask what the shop's name will be? We've been thinking about a suitable name for a long time, right, bro? Yeah, bro, the name is... We actually get to choose, so it'll be... Uh, I'll call it Coco Shop. That's what I always called my islands and buildings and towns as a kid. Coco Shop. Coco Shop, that's a great name. Let me go back to the guild and finish all these papers. Also, don't forget to take a dungeon permit before you go to the dungeon. Sure, thanks, Miss Gorgeist. So are we going to do some dungeon crawling ourselves then? Now let's unpack our stuff and prepare for tomorrow morning. Yeah, sure. The next morning, day one. Hey, hey Kecleon, wake up. Ugh. I'll be waiting in the shop, so get ready. Oh, I've got the little mystery dungeon beds. That's really cute. Something cooking on the stove. I guess this is our shop. Good morning, ready to start the morning? Of course I'm ready. Good, today I'll teach you how to manage this shop by yourself. Sure, but why? Aren't we brothers? Why do you seem so much smarter than me? Today I want you to sell half of our goods in the dungeon. So tomorrow we only need to explore the dungeon to restock our goods. Ah, oh, nice plan. To sell goods, we have to put them on the table. Click this table and choose which item you want to sell. After that, put all the items on the table. After you put all the items on the table, go behind the counter and open the shop. Okay, so we've got three on but this seems pretty simple, I think I can do it. Oh, Okay, because we might need to eat our own berries in the dungeon, I guess. So I'll put mostly apples on the table. I guess I'll save one orange berry for myself. I like that, um, like it's always cool to see the mystery dungeon sprouts, especially for like the iron berry. Open shop. Maybe I put too much on the counter, maybe I wasn't supposed to put that much on the counter. <laughs> Welcome, looking for something? Please take the apple instead, please. Oh, oh, oh! No. Hello, Mr. Kekley. I'm searching for some items for my, my expedition. Can I get that apple today, please? Apple? That will be... Oh, so he can mark things up. Well, he's our first customer. So let's give him a 10% discount. Just because you deserve it. Thank you, Mr. Kekley. Thanks. Yeah, I sold an apple for 270 Welcome. If you need anything, just ask. Okay. Oh, let's see, any items of interest here? I was looking for that orange berry. We'll do base price. We're not 
we're not giving you a sale. The character portrait seemed a bit messed up for for reveal, but that's all for today. Okay. The next morning, day two. So now we go on an expedition? Why is it so quiet? Usually my brother wakes up first. Is it possible that he already left and waited at the merchant guild? It looks like I have to go there after him. Can I pick my iron berry up? Okay, let's see. Oh wow, we can actually explore around town. Hey there, welcome to the Licky Licky store. So we can... Oh, this is us. Oh, it's a storage, okay. Right, right, because if you faint in a dungeon, you lose your items. We are just playing Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> okay. Um, let me put my drink bottle down. This is definitely interesting. Oh, this is a little explorer team. That's cute. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I like this a lot. Tramper's house. Can I come hang out? It's locked. He might be out shopping. Okay. We need more bridges and fan games. This is beautiful. <laughs> Oh, hello, Gimme Ghoul. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. I guess we'll store our money. What if anything? I... Um, I don't know about on Relic Castle, but I know someone's made a a program of some sort that lets you easily make Mystery Dungeon fan games. So it's definitely an option. I think there are many Mystery Dungeon fan games out there. Welcome to the Merchant Guild. Hi, Kekthon. Do you want to take your dungeon permit? Yeah. By the way, did my brother come here today? No, he, did he say where he was going? He said that he wanted to sell goods in the dungeon. Uh, I think I'll try asking the explorer that went out yesterday. While I'm asking the explorer, here, take your permit. Now you can explore the green meadow. Maybe there's a clue about your brother's whereabouts. If you find this dungeon too difficult, you should ask me and Xiao on the right counter to hire an exploration team to accompany you. If you want to upgrade your shop, you can assist ask Machoke on the left counter. Okay, how much does it take to upgrade my shop? This way to okay. Okay, I won't buy anything yet, but I definitely want to upgrade my shop. Maybe after I do the dungeon exploring. Green Meadow, wow, it's even like got the mystery dungeon list. That's really cool. Okay, so. I am curious how combat is going to work. We even have Belly. Oh god, I should have taken an apple with me. It is very Mystery Dungeon. You move, they move. But I guess the combat is just normal combat. Oh, that's right. It's very really cool how they've almost completely replicated Mystery Dungeon gameplay in a in Pokemon Essentials. I don't know how you'd even make the system that does all the movement and makes sure all the enemies move when you move. Let's just try to get deeper, I guess. I believe that, I can't remember if it was a game jam, but I remember playing a Pokemon Essentials game a long time ago that did something similar, where you walk around Mystery Dungeon style, but you battle in like normal Pokemon style. Oh god. And I don't get a minimap, do I? No. Okay. I couldn't make this hard. <laughs> I always relied on my mini-map when I played these games as a kid. Do I even want to go this way? What if it's just a dead end? Let's go. We're running. 
Oh, this really is a mystery dungeon experience getting chased by Pokemon down long corridors. Oh, there's the stairs. It's worth it. Ooh, money. A fair bit of money. And another berry. Oh, and a bird. But yeah, all these jam games have been pretty diverse so far. I mean, what? I've played Bundaga's game, which is a really cool 3D platformer where you collect original monsters that give you different platforming powers. I've played Pivot, which is a multiplayer battle arena with real online gameplay. I played a ex an exploration of a mind <laughs> in the world inside my room, which is very interesting. And now I'm playing a mystery dungeon game. And I think there's more strange looking games to come. I saw one that was essentially like Pokemon Legends for the Colosseum games and it's got like a 3D exploration or something. I don't know, it's weird, but it looks very interesting. A lot to, a lot to look forward to. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, hopefully I can get through most of the jam games. I'll see how I do because on Monday I have to start going to uni again. <laughs> so that will be a thing. Oh, it seems like we've made it to the end somewhere. If it's supposed to be the end of the dungeon, it's impossible to go any further. It's time to go back. We played Green Meadow and unlocked Amethyst Cave. We didn't find our bubble room. Hmm. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning. How's your shop going? It's been good lately. I'm glad. I have some news. Some new information from the Explorer team about your brother. Walking in Amethyst Cave. Please be careful if you plan to explore. Need to work back up the guild? Okay. So I think maybe what I'll do is one more day of sales. I'm going to take this apple. And then... Okay, so I guess you get customer popularity. I'll open the shop. Oh, Jamba, hello, I saw your house before. Don't take that apple. That's worth too much. Ah, uh, If you want that apple, you better be willing to pay. We're going to give it 10% increase to the price. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we seem to have broken the game. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll take a screenshot or something of that. In that case, I might stop this game for now. <laughs> um, it's getting a bit later, so I might just stop in general. So, I might play more later tonight, but that has been two games started. I'll probably wait until Kelkion Stream Shop gets updated a bit more. But there are other games I'm very excited to play. So I'll probably call it there. And um, thank you to everyone who came around. It was very fun. We had a great time playing The World Inside My Room. That was an amazing game. And um, see you all. Bye-bye.